The 19th Amendment guarantees all American women the right to vote. Beginning in the mid-19th century, several generations of women's suffrage supporters, lecturers, wrote, marched, lobbied, and practiced civil disobedience to achieve what many Americans considered a radical change in the Constitution. Beginning in the 1800s, women organized, petitioned, and picketed to win the right to vote, but it took them decades to accomplish their purpose, considered a radical change of the Constitution. By 1916, almost all of the major suffrage organizations were united behind a goal of, the, of a constitutional amendment. When New York adopted women's suffrage in 1917, and President Wilson charged his position to support an amendment in 1918, the political balance began to shift. On May 21st, 1919, the House of Representatives passed the amendment, and two weeks later, the Senate followed, when Tennessee became the 36th state to ratify the amendment on August 18th, 1920. The amendment passed its final hurdle of obtaining the agreement of three-fourths of the states. Secretary of State Bainbridge Colby uncertified the ratification on August 26th, 1920, changing the face of the American electoral forever. Passed by Congress June 4, 1919, and ratified on August 18, 1920, the 19th Amendment guarantees all American women the right to vote. Beginning in the mid-19th century, several generations of women, suffrage supporters, lectured, wrote, marched, lobbied, and practiced civil disobedience to achieve what many Americans considered a radical change in the Constitution. August 19, 1995 marked the 75th anniversary of ratification on the 19th Amendment to the Constitution. On August 18, 1920, when it was ratified, the champions of voting rights for women worked tirelessly, but strategies for achieving varied. Between 1878, when the amendment was first introduced in Congress, and August 18, 1920, when it was ratified, champions of voting rights for women worked tirelessly, but strategies for achieving their goal varied. Some pursued the strategy of passing suffrages acts in each state. Nine western states adopted women's suffrage legislation by 1912. Others challenged male-only voting laws in the courts. Millant suffragists used tactics such as par parades, silent vigils, and hunger strikes. Often supports met fierce resistance. Opponent heckled, ja jailed, and some physically abused them. By 1916, however, almost all major suffrage organizations were united behind the goal of a constitutional amendment. When New York adopted women's suffrage in 1917 and when President Woodrow Wilson changed his positions to support an amendment in 1918, the political balance began to shift in favor of the vote for women. On May 21st, 1919, the House of Representatives passed the amendment, and two weeks later, the Senate followed. When Tennessee became the 36th state to, vi to ratify the amendment on August 18, 1920, the amendment passed its final hurdle in obtaining the agreement of three-fourths of the state. Secretary of State Bainbridge. Just like she already owned it, I said, Hey girl.